All right, let's take a look at another construction. In this case, we've got perpendicular line through a point on a line. So Delta Math um, is, is a great tool for doing our online constructions. Uh, it really simulates what we, what we would do in real life if we were able to use compasses and straight edges um, to make our circles and lines. But in this case, let's think about what our, uh, the construction name, and that's going to give us an idea of what we're doing with the construction. So perpendicular line through a point on a line. So uh, in this case, we've got a line, a an original line, okay, with a point on the line, this point M, and I want a perpendicular line through this point. Now, there is a very similar construction um, that deals with what happens when we have a, uh, a line with a point not on the line? How do I make that perpendicular line? Okay. In this case, the point is on the line, and the construction is very similar, uh, but it is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my compass, and I'm going to make two equal arcs somewhere on the circle. Again, it can be really anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to put them here. Okay. So I'm going to make one mark out here. So that's a radius length, and then I'm going to make another mark out here. Basically, I'm sectioning off a segment of this line, and then all I'm going to do from there is do my uh, perpendicular bisector. Uh, so we're going to pretend like this is a segment. I do need to draw, drag this circle out a little bit larger, okay? So you can't keep the circle the same length the entire time. So um, I'm going to make it a little bit larger, and then we'll keep this distance when we go to both points. So we're going to do one point here, okay? And I'm going to make my arc something like this. And then I'm going to pick it up, drag it over here, make a second arc, something like that, okay? And I should get my two crossing marks. Notice that the final answer should be exactly one blue line, so we're going to choose our line tool. We're going to go from this point here down through that point there. Now, you actually don't need to make crossing marks on top and bottom. You could just actually make one crossing mark and go through your end point here um, if you would want to do it that way. Uh, but either way will work. You could do both marks and then put the line through uh, both crossing marks or just do one and then go through M to that point. So either one of those should work. All right, so that wraps up how to do a perpendicular line through a point on a line.